So Chris, you uh, as a specialist in irrational beliefs and as a cognitive therapist that works with so many couples, I know that you have addressed the issue of forgiveness and sometimes there's some kind of funny thinking around forgiveness. Can you address that a little bit for us? Because we all want to be forgiving in marriage. In mm -hmm. fact, I forget who it was. Was it Billy Graham's wife that said that uh, marriage is made up of two good forgivers or something to that effect? And how do we, how do we handle forgiveness in a healthy way? Uh, before I answer that, uh, she also was known for saying that would she ever divorce Billy? No, but kill him? Yes. Uh, so she was no wonder she had to have forgiveness, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, there is a lot of um, bad thinking around forgiveness. Uh, so what I do with my clients is I push them pretty hard on forgiveness is not to be conditional upon them owning what they have done, uh, apologizing for it. Healthy people forgive. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be an unhealthy person, then you keep harboring unforgiveness toward other people the rest of your life. You keep withholding it because they haven't said they're sorry. If you want to be healthy for yourself and others, forgive because that's what you're supposed to do. Now, that doesn't mean you're saying it didn't hurt. That doesn't mean that you're saying you're not going to do anything about it. So forgiveness, in my mind, is a commandment. Forgive one another, okay? Yeah. And we are to obey that, and I don't mean that legalistically. But there's a lot of thinking about forgiveness that my spouse has to earn it. Yeah. So let me go into that for just a brief moment. Um, yeah, because no. this, this is so important because so many times we get caught in this trap of, well, I would forgive you if you would change. I would forgive if you. you would change. If, right. That's so, exactly right. Okay. Yeah. They, they make forgiveness dependent upon the person repenting and changing. Again, that is not a valid notion. Okay. Forgiveness is not, nor can it be earned. It is not supposed to be earned. OK, forgiveness is granted. It is the person saying that as an act of my will, I am wiping the debt clean that you owe me. Mm -hmm. I'm acknowledging that your behavior led to you having a debt with me. Yeah. I am choosing to not hold it against you anymore, but I am going to have boundaries with you from here on out. Yeah. So you, you, you cannot put people under the duress of having to earn your forgiveness because the next time they mess up, you're going to say, see, I knew you weren't really sorry and I should have never forgiven you. Yeah. You're going to take it back again. Yeah. So I really push people hard about the arrogance of unforgiveness. Uh, I, I try not to obviously shame them about it, but I'm pretty unflinching about, look, if you think you don't stand in need of forgiveness yourself, and if you don't think you're capable of doing the same kind of thing to them that they do to you, you've got another thing coming and you need to really grapple with this hardness of heart that you have going toward your spouse or your friend or your colleague. And, and so many times, I'm sure you agree with this, the forgiveness is for the forgiver as much yeah. as the forgiven, right? Because it can really tear you up. Yeah, there's that famous quote that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and thinking the other person's going to die. Right. Okay. Yeah. Forgiveness is for you. It is so that you can be free. You do not want to be metaphorically um, nailed to a bitter, resentful heart. Uh, yeah. Get get free. You know, yeah. um, <clears throat> that Don Henley song from years ago about... Uh, it all being about forgiveness, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I just think that was a beautiful song about, look, forgive for your own sake, forgive for the reconciliation of the relationship. Uh, please don't, please don't think you're getting anything properly dealt with if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Thanks for these wise words. Appreciate it, Chris. My pleasure.